What's up, people? Markjack79 here. We are at the Louisville Arcade Expo. Here's some tidbits that this was supposed to be a really awesome event. And so let's go ahead and get in here. We are at the conference center. So it's supposed to have some Galaga, some Donkey Kong, some Mario Brothers, some cosplay, and all types of fun events. It's supposed to be a Smash Brothers event here, too. So we're going to get in here with the, with the Crown Prince. Hey. Yeah. So, we're, so yeah, man, we're going to get in here and check it out and see what's going on. Let's do it. All right, walking into the expo now. Pretty cool so far. It's got a whole lot of pinball machines here on this side here. Some Beatles action right there. Got a huge, uh, what is that? This looks like some kind of a Mario statue, something. Look at that right there. Oh, that's cool. Got some Mega Man right here. Something called a uh, Raspberry Lightning. Huh. What's that? Cork Screw Mario. Huh. Yeah, look at these comic book covers right here. That's cool. Is there Tales of Hyrule? He who wills the Triforce. Nice. Got a Sam and Sam comic book. That's pretty cool. We got a Super Mario 80 Giant. Nice. That one right there. Super Mario Brothers. Little Mac vs. Mike Tyson. Pretty cool. Oh, we got a Super Smash Brothers right there. Nice. Got some Double Dragon action. There we go. Of course, might as well get some Diddy Kong racing action going on here. There you go. And here we have, looks like the original Tekken. Pac-Man and Pac-Man Jr. Capcom Bowl? No. Wonder Boy. I feel like I've heard of this game before. Huh. One set is Wonder Boy. But it's off. Oh man, come on. One of the Final Fantasies, I think Final Fantasy 12, I want to say. I can't think of her name though, but she was definitely from. That's probably the best casting right there that we've seen here so far. Yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage, okay. Macho! Oh, he's excited. Oh, yeah. Sakura won first place. Nice. Nothing like some for 
back to Super Mario World. Gotta love that. Now we get back to this again and we have some Street Fighter Anniversary Edition. Top it off with some The Simpsons action. That was that was one of my favorites. Video game, probably. Oh no! Not doing too good with this one hand here. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's get it. Oh. I like how you just, no, no matter what, you just automatically start in last. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah. Right now, long time, right? Look how far away they are. I know. There you go, you passed up one. Oh. Oh, we got some Mario Kart action right here. Nice. And then here's here's my here's my grill. The Super Smash Brothers Melee. Don't none of them want me. Don't none of them want me. Alright, all right. so we got some Smash action in. I did alright, but now it's time to move on. Got a really awesome basketball TV screen going on here. Look at that man. Some something they're playing on the original Nintendo. We got this awesome Sega machine going on here too. I've never seen anything like that. It looks like maybe an old school store display of a Sega. Then we got some uh, zapper action going on here. Look at that. It's old school right there. Boy, we got some deck cut going on here. Nice. Oh, he's getting ready to take on Mike Tyson. Let's see how he does. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Three hits. That was looking like Mike Tyson to me. Oh, this dodge. Come on, champ. You got it. Come on, right now. There you go. Come on, champ. Yeah, there's one. There it is. There he is. Yeah. And, and if you're if you're a true gamer, you know this is easily one of the most difficult games of all time. This is one of the most difficult gaming challenges of all time. Of what he's what he's doing right now. Oh! oh. Final round. Ooh, God. Yes. Like I said, he's gonna do it, man. He's gonna do it. He's got a really good rhythm going. He's got to do it. Oh! Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe he won't do it. Okay, okay, okay. He got up. He still got. He still got a little bit. So close. Oh God. Oh. Well. Oh. Yeah. He's got. He's got one more. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. Hey. And of course, over here we have two of the greatest Nintendo 64 games of all time. We have GoldenEye 007 reporting for GT. Oh yeah, was that master, master at that? And then, of course. Probably one of the first video games that I ever 100%ed on my own. I was probably about nine years old. That is Super Mario 64. I was probably about nine. Like I said, I was nine years old when I collected those 120 stars, man. That's that's right. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. And of course, we got some Dreamcast action going on here. NBA, nice. Marvel vs. Capcom. And over here we have a Super Mario Brothers Mushroom World Pinball. I have never seen anything like this before. This is awesome. Look at that, man. Made by Gullet? Gullet? I'm gonna hop on this real quick. You know, why, why not? Look at that. I'm gonna give y'all a closer, closer. 
So we got Bowser at the bottom here. There's some Mario. Uh, Fire Mario, Frog Mario, Raccoon Mario. Mario with an extra large mushroom. Look at that. That is awesome. We got some Koopa Kid action going on here. There's Peach right right there in the corner. Toad. Very nice. Look at that. Awesome, man. I wonder if this is for sale. I wouldn't mind adding this to the to the to the museum. That is pretty awesome. So I really didn't fare too well. Uh, looks like it's designed to really be a quick money grabber. Cause these little holes right here, when stuff pops out, yeah, it could doesn't really give you a too good of a reaction time to get the ball back up in the open. See, see, you see that? <laughs> yeah, definitely not some very good mechanisms in this pinball machine. It's kind of crazy. And over here we have a Super Nintendo store display. I remember seeing these in like Target, Toys R Us, Walmart when I was a kid. Uh, and this uh, person here is playing Aladdin. So we got some good action going on right here. That looks really fun. Here we go. Yeah, some Dr. Mario action going on right here as well. Nice. And of course, we, we got to have the uh, Super Nintendo Mini. I'm sure all of you have seen this b before. We got some Zelda action going on here. We got Kirby, Donkey Kong, Super Metroid, Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, sure. Earthbound, Street Fighter, Street of the Man, Star Fox 2. I've always wanted to give that a try, man. Star Fox 2. Final Fantasy, Mario, Yoshi, Punch Out. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Super Mario. Uh, the RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Well, I've always wanted to try that one too, man. And then of course we have uh, one of me and my older brother's favorites. We got some NBA Jam action going on here. Very nice. This is the tournament edition. Golden State versus Philadelphia. All right. We got some some of the uh, some of the uh, new school. Giving it a try. <laughs> Enjoying one of my old school classics. Got to love it. And like a good game of Dance Dance Revolution Extreme. Oh yeah. Over here we got like, some Virtual Boy action going on here. Yeah. I don't really see one up close. See if we can get in there. Oh, pretty nice. All right. Some Wario Land. Virtual Boy. Nice. Even though it was a commercial failure. But still, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see. Yep, yeah, definitely. We got some Mario Kart 64 action. I think we're getting ready to hop on this real quick and maybe do a race or two. Relive some childhood memories. I say we do it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. And after some fun Mario Kart action, we take a look at this other Nintendo uh, display system. Old school, honestly. Uh, I got some Donkey Kong 64 action going on here. Nice. Look at that. Return sway, quick game. All right. Very cool. Generously donated by Best Buy at the Fun Center. Huh, how about that? Oh, and over here we have the result of a many, many broken TV screens. That's right, Wii Sports Tennis. Got some wicked action going on in this game, man. I can't wait to give it a try. Ugh, got some Soul Calibur 2 action on the Nintendo GameCube display. Ooh, beautiful Joe. Yeah, buddy. That's a classic. Billy Hatcher, I know this game. Billy Hatcher, da, da. Boy, only, only old, old school remember, remember that commercial. Madden 2004. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Movie. Mm -hmm. Soul Calibur. So they ain't gonna have Link, Link playable though. It's probably be like Mitsurugi, somebody else. Hockey, mm -hmm. maybe. Alright, we're going to head over here and enter this uh, Super Smash Brothers tournament for 64. Let's get ready to start here. Uh, we just got our tickets. So hopefully uh, we can show our skills here. Maybe win some prizes. Let's do it. In the year 1999, they unveiled their masterpiece to the world. Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64. <laughs> One question remains. Are you ready to smash? Two stock each on screen two. This is a close match as well. Red Link versus Red Hat Pikachu. Link throwing the boomerang, more like a boom shakalaka. Goodbye Pikachu, one versus two. 
Link through a mine somewhere, but I can't be certain where, so be on your be on edge. Oh. Oh. Mario headbutts Luigi and then whips out the hammer for hammer time. Can't touch this, Mario says. Just laying the smack down. And so Captain Falcon comes out and slaps him. Still very even with one each. Oh, and so Link gets the hammer on screen two. The hammer can be deadly if we go down into lava and you can't jump out of the way, Link. Cross your fingers. Knock on wood. Screen two, Pikachu, dive bombs, and then himself right into the lava. And Link progresses. Way to go, Link. Screen one, we've got fabulous Pikachu. And over here, we are coming up on the original Mario Brothers. Look at that. Woo! It's Mario, and got Luigi. It's only on sale for $2,000. It's nothing, man. There you go. Very, very nice. Then we got Fix It, Felix Jr. I'm going to wreck it, wreck it, Ralph. I'm going to wreck it. I can fix it. <laughs> Very nice. It's pretty awesome. And over here we have a Mrs. Pac-Man. Very cool indeed. Get up, it's time to slam down. Yeah, got the real jam going now. Welcome to the space too. We got a golden eye over here too. Very nice. But that space jam though. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, well, we got Sega Spider-Man the game. Pretty cool. I would like to play it, but unfortunately they put all the credits onto the fourth player. <laughs> That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Got some RoboCop action going on here. There, there you go. Bubble, bobble, bubble, bobble. Bad dudes. That's right, bad dudes. Got some Dragon Ball action going on here, some Figma. Very nice. That's my first time seeing the SH Figure Arts Burma in hand. You don't, you don't have this, do you? Super Sonic style. <laughs> Got a Spider-Man right here in his hoodie. And his kicks here. Yeah. Dr. Mario, I found you. I'm the soap dispenser. Nice. Also, I just had to cop this awesome Samus Aaron clipboard poster here. Look at that. That's awesome. You gotta love Metroid, man. You gotta love Metroid. That's right. Awesome. Samus Aaron. $60, dollars man. Got Metroid here. That's really nice. Robot named Fight? Huh. Looks like a Carbon Metroid copy to me. I mean, don't, I mean, doesn't this look just like Super Metroid? I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, it looks fun. Hmm. A robot named Fight. It's on the Switch, it looks like. Hmm. Might be pretty fun. I might have to try that out. I like how somebody just beat Super Mario 64. Look at that. Thank you so much for the playing of my game. Very nice. There's a little bit more action on the Super Nintendo games here, uh, and the original Nintendo games too. It's always fun to see the golden version of The Legend of Zelda. Very nice, man. And then, my, easily my most favorite side scrolling Mario game, the Super Mario Bros. 3 as well. So, 
Very nice, man. Very, very nice. So then we got the Turtles. I do have a copy of the Turtles, the arcade game. And then I have my copy of Super Mario Brothers as well. Yeah, and we got some Super Nintendo action going on here. We got the Zapper action set. Very nice. Cool. Nothing like we are reliving your childhood, man, and just finding some cool stuff to, uh, you know, reminisce about the fun times you had when you were a kid. Come on, come on. The stairs. You You're can't get up, up the there. stairs. You're never gonna get you, up there. you have to have star yeah, power. You, you can't do it. All right, I'll go get some stars. <laughs> I swear, no. I'll get some stars. Oh, look at that. That's Mario taking his yeah, taking yeah. his beauty rest there. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Got some Kirby Air Rat action going on here. Look at that. And we have Aaron, the Crown Prince here, getting ready to play the hardest game of all time. This F Zero GX. He's <laughs> got the cap in here. This is the F Zero game that killed the franchise because nobody could could beat it, so nobody wanted a, wanted a sequel. <laughs> fun game, fun game though. Beautiful graphics for its time, but just way too frustratingly hard. Hmm. See, look at that. I think this came out in like 2002, 2003. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, he just hit that time trials most because so he didn't want to get des destroyed. But yeah, but this game easily had the worst racing game rip, rubber band effects that I had ever seen. Uh, you could be like winning the entire race and they would still figure out a way just to come back and beat you. Like, it's, uh, it was so frustrating. I don't think I ever made it past like the, the third level of the story mode. Like I would run through and play like the ar the arcade mode but you know of course I mean you get like a, if you get a game you want to play through the story mode and beat that but you know, never could do it. Never could do it, you know. It's fun uh, to play with friends. Yeah, it's fun to play with friends for sure. But you know, 12, 12 year old, thirteen year old me is just still has nightmares about this game trying to complete it. Unfortunate. Well, I just found out that I am not very good at Donkey Kong. I didn't even get past the first level. I got better though. I got better at future Mario games. You know, it is what it is. So right here we have an old school Japanese Famicom or the Family Computer System, the NES with Super Mario Brothers playing. That is awesome, man. It came out in 1983. This is the Japanese version of Super Mario Brothers and the NES system with the uh, controllers here. Look at that. Cool. This is my first time ever, like, actually, like, holding it in hand and actually playing the game. That's pretty awesome, man. Look at that. Pretty cool. It's a me Mario, right? Gotta love it. You can freeze frame that right there if you want to read it. Cool hockey thing this guys are playing. That's like real old school right there. Huh. Very nice. And after a long night we finally oh, found Sonic. Sonic. Daggone it. Oh, How about that? Wow. And game over. Wow, wow, wow. And here's Sly Cooper continuously running into a wall. Somebody save him. Let me just save Sly, Sly Cooper here real, real quick. Let's there you go. Uh, okay. There we go. Nice. And just like that, we end our night at the Louisville Arcade Con. Pr appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. It was such an awesome time, man. It was a really lot of fun, cool, and exciting arcade games that we got to play and relive our childhoods. Such a fun time, man. I really enjoyed it. So you know what to do. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button. At the making of this video, we are at 847 subscribers, which means we are only 153 subscribers away from the golden grail of 1,000. So please, if you want to help the channel grow, just hit that subscribe button. You can also like the video and hit the share button too. Make sure everybody catches the amazing times that can be had in my, in my hometown. 
So, as always, you can follow me at youtube.com slash martinjack79. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Hope to see you guys on the next one, because there's always a next one here. And until then, I will catch you guys later. Bye.